what's up you guys it's whitney and aria and today we are styling aria's hair it is time to take this old style out it has been up for about three and a half weeks and um it's fuzzy it's time to go so we're gonna take it down wash condition and restyle this video is not necessarily a tutorial or a how-to but just kind of showing you what our process looks like when it is wash day Like I kind of mentioned earlier, I only style Aria's hair every three to four weeks and I usually do some sort of protective styling and that's just to keep her hair protected for one and for two because I don't like to do hair every morning. We're already in like a mad dash to get out of the door. So having to do hair just adds extra fuss to our routine that I can easily, you know, work around by doing her hair every three or four weeks in a style that lasts. Okay, it's Sunday and we're getting ready to wash Arya's hair. But first girl, you know I have to have to have to have coffee. So I'm just enjoying the last few sips of my coffee. I actually had to gulp it because it was getting cold. Anyway, these are the products that I use for both my natural hair, Aria's natural hair, and also my extensions. If you didn't know, I do have a raw hair company, TossHairStudio.com. We carry raw Indian hair and it is so beautiful. That's actually what I have in my head right now. So if you're looking for really, really good quality hair, y'all go get that. You know what? God came through when he gave me a daughter. I love that she is as girly as me. I love that she likes to help with her hair. Just, he knew what he was doing, okay? Now we are on to detangling and a lifesaver when it comes to doing your little one's hair is to have an iPad or a phone, a tablet, a TV or something. And then we always have lots of snacks on deck and we take breaks. Um, usually when I schedule our hair weekends, I don't schedule us to be anywhere else or to be on any kind of time constraint just so that we can go at our own pace getting through this and that makes it a lot more comfortable, a lot more successful. Now we are on to blow drying. I don't always blow dry. It really just depends on the style that I'm doing. Because we're doing braids this week and blow drying just helps like, your braids look a little bit neater, it lasts a little bit longer, we're gonna go ahead and blow dry. But no, it is not every styling that she gets her hair blow dried. So all you heat people, do not come for me. It's totally fine.
Before I start braiding, just know these are not the most perfect braids. We do these styles to keep Arya's hair protected and just to keep it styled. Um, in the end, I think that her braids came out really, really super cute, especially for a four-year-old. I do not seek to make her styles the tightest, the neatest, or anything like that. After all, she is four years old. We do not want to ruin her follicles before she has a chance to even love on them. So yeah, these are not the most perfect braids and that's fine with me. In the end, it looks cute still. Okay, something that helped me with feed-in braids was knowing and realizing that there is a pattern that you have to establish when you are adding hair. So as you're watching me, I stroke with the right hand, I bring the left hand back to the scalp, add a piece of hair, stroke with the right hand, bring the left hand back to the scalp, add a piece of hair, stroke with the right hand, and on and on and on. That's the pattern that I established and that I continue all throughout all of her braids, but you could totally add hair every time your right hand comes to the scalp, or you could add hair when either hand comes to the scalp. You could add two pieces when either hand comes to the scalp. It's totally up to you, as long as your pattern stays consistent all throughout the braids and all throughout the head, you'll get a mostly uniform look. Okay, you guys, so this is the end result. Like I said earlier, I think it came out really cute and I'm actually quite impressed with myself. This is my first time doing feed-in braids and I think it came out pretty good. Next time, there are some things that I would do differently that I'll be more aware of, but overall, I think it looks great. I think it will get us through at least two weeks, hopefully more. But yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. See you later.